I'm Teclaria Weaver, and I'm with Jefferson Gunn. I'm a Waco High CTE teacher teaching anatomy and physiology and health science. I'm visually impaired with a disease called retinitis pigmentosa. Can you tell me about the job you have? Here at Waco High, I teach um, anatomy and physiology, which is an overview of the human body, and I teach health science, which is the introductory class into the health careers cluster. Um, I enjoy teaching, I've worked in medicine for a number of years, I enjoyed it, um, and so after losing a lot of my usable eyesight, I found this opportunity to teach what I love, medicine, or at least teach to kids that want to go into medicine. How long have you been working at Waco High? I've been a teacher for seven years total, four of it here at Waco High. Tell me a little bit about what it means to work as a science teacher. Being able to teach kids the human body, being able to teach kids and help them to understand the way the human body works, to see the different systems in the body, to explore through either dissections or other labs that we do, it is, it is a wonderful thing. Uh, being a health science teacher, teaching kids basic first aid and CPR, teaching them microbiology, teaching them just life and introducing them to medicine is really a wonderful, wonderful experience for me and I love every minute of what I do. I'm Ed Love, principal at Waco High School, very proud principal for Waco High School. Mr. Gunn is an inspiration to me. Uh, uh, he has a disability, but he does not allow that to prevent him from doing what he really loves doing in life, and that's teaching. There's no doubt in my mind, uh, he's a wonderful, wonderful person, uh, a gentleman. He works so well with our, with our students, keeps them engaged. The kids love his class. He's always doing something and uh, hands-on activities, and that's one of the things that's so important today is for student learning is concerned. Tell me about the road uh, to becoming a teacher here at Waco High. Well, it started off a number of years ago. I um, have always wanted to be a paramedic. I went through paramedic school, then realized it's not really something I wanted to do. I enjoy it, but it's not something I could. I wanted to really do for the rest of my life. So I went through respiratory therapy school, got a good job, uh, did that for a number of years. Then my disability started getting really bad, and I had to leave that. I went through a period of deep depression, not knowing what to do with my life. Um, medicine was what I knew, medicine was what I loved, and then I found this opportunity to teach health science and health careers to high school students. I jumped on it and I've loved it ever since. So I'm aware that you do not drive because of your disability, so how do you get to school? Driving is one of the few things that, that I'm limited on. I do everything else, um, but I use Waco Transit's um, paratransit service. It's a door-to-door -door service that gets me from home to work and anywhere else I need to go. Uh, but I don't let my disability stop me in any other way. One of his um, issues is, is uh, his sight as far as being able to see uh, in, the, in the dark. And so we were able to, uh, the area where he comes into the building, and he gets here so early because, again, he's always um, uh, coming up with different types of activities for kids, so he gets here early to set up. And so we provided him a key uh, to the side, one of our side doors so that he could get in and get started you know, setting up his uh, whatever type of activity that he has set up, scheduled for that particular day. So other than that, it's been real minor stuff, just, just minor stuff. How has having RP impacted your work? My work, it, um, I mean, it does make certain things difficult. Um, going out in the hallway with crowded, with, with students in there, it slows me down a little bit. Um, light, I'm very sensitive to light. I have to set my room up a very certain way and have the lights a certain way to make it functional for me. I have some adaptive technology, like on the computer, and I have a few um, video magnifiers in the classroom that I use, depending on what I'm doing. Uh, but it. It may slow me down a little bit, but I find ways to accommodate for everything and I don't let it stop me from doing anything. What have you learned by having a person with a disability as an employee? Well, you know, that's, that's, that's the thing that really uh, impresses me the most about Mr. Gunn is that, yes, he has a disability, but he loves teaching. And he doesn't sit around and allow his disability, his disability to prevent him from, from doing the things that he really wants to do in life. And it's evident in his classes, when you go to his classroom, he's always up and around and teaching, engaging uh, with the students. And that's an inspiration to other students who might have a disability as well, to see him on a daily basis. He's here every day. I mean, he never misses. 
I see him here uh, engaging, being a wonderful person and also a great teacher. So that, it's an inspiration to me to actually see him uh, come to school and do the things that he want to do, which is teach our kids. I'm very proud of him. What is your favorite part of the job? My favorite part of the job is really when I can get kids to understand um, and seeing that little light bulb go off in their head. Uh, I really enjoy doing labs with the students. Uh, today my afternoon classes are going to start an osmosis lab so they can understand how osmosis works and how it affects the cells. One of the other things that I really enjoy doing is teaching vital signs to my students, especially using our Laridol mannequins that we have here. Um, they're very realistic and they help the students be able to truly hear vital signs and I know what they're hearing and I can make sure that they're hearing what they need to be hearing.